Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I am Andrew on the Clapper Gaming, and this is Vampire the Masquerade Bloodline. So far, this is my entire experience with this game. This is one that right here. Alright, I gotta go uh, upstairs now to talk to Therese and find out why she tried to kill me. Uh, and why she has Jeanette locked in a uh, in the bathroom. I mean, I know Jeanette's crazy and like hot, but you know, Therese doesn't really need to. Uh, the fuck. Um, as soon as I solve this problem, we call Jeanette. Fuck? I'll happily send you on your way to town. Don't listen to her. She'll kill us both. Save me, and I'll help you find Bertram. I swear. What Shut the up, Jeanette. Fuck. I warned you to stay away from Tongue. He's turned you against me. The, the same check. You. You couldn't stand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this, but you forced oh, me. Oh God! You never gave seriously? Me any for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? What's going on here? Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore. Do you realize that despite her condition, she still fornicates with kind, no less? Um. So despicable. So unclean. You're one to talk, dear sister. Or should oh, I say, Daddy's <sighs> little girl? Do you want to know just how depraved the really? Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear Father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he... Don't finish that sentence, or you're dead! That's, um... I really don't want to hear any more of this, so... Don't you want to hear what happened? How she became the pillar of the community yeah, she I, is today? I don't really shut want up. to hear Just how her daddy up. touched her. Um... Stop it, Jeanette. That's right, Jeanette. No one wants to hear your lies. No, I'm I was pretty the good sure girl. Daddy touched you. You were the wicked one. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. Yeah. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me. Taking care of me. You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end so of time? the same no, woman. No, sister. You've had it coming woman. since our this last is sunrise. Stupid. Is that <laughs> right, dear? If it wasn't for me, She's you would have never herself, survived this literally. long. Remember? Like, it's the they same voice actress us, yelling I at herself. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, so was there at one point two of these? Two, two of these women? She's a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't I mean, control something, she gets rid of it. Of and you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. Hey, if it wasn't for Jeanette, I'd be on my way to Tongue right now. That's As right. As I said, to trust Jeanette is to trust a famished jackal not to eat you while you sleep. Therese will never let you live. You disappointed her. I used you, yes, but I didn't try to have you killed. How the hell did you Therese use me? No I didn't do your killing, little side you? quest. Remember father? Father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. Uh, what happened to your father, Therese? I was always good to father, but Jeanette made him miserable. Over the years, it all became too much for him. I think she broke his heart, so he killed himself right in our room. Oh, killed God. himself? Therese, you placed his finger on the trigger once you blew his mind all over the silly clown wallpaper. Right after he found me in your bed and thought I was you. He was always oh, angry God, at you. This is you drove him to drink. Up. When he died, he was in torment. As I recall... He died with a smile on his face. Oh... I... <sighs> Shit. As you shouldn't. I'm afraid, sister. I must write your ending in this family saga. And I want you to know, I do so with great anguish and disappointment. I had such hopes that you'd change for the better with my guidance. But so, sweet sister. Is this how it has to end? So, I admit, I always so knew what's she gonna do? Come. Like, well, Tyler Durden herself and like shoot herself through the mouth? An apology? A like, love letter? Oh god, can I kill them both? <laughs> um, I know, I need to find tongue. 
shit. Um. Fine, Therese, you seem more rational. She's wrestling with herself, and she shot herself? Goodbye, sister. I had to do it. You sure. It was her You're or me. the same person. Now that she's been dealt with, I no longer have to worry about tongue. He's a minor threat without her. I'll call off the feud. Wait here. Uh, okay. As I'm reloading my pistol, just in case I have to shoot my way out of this club. Tongue's hiding oh. out in an abandoned oil tank at the old gas station. Thank you. I'll tell him that one condition of a truce is that he help you. Our business, then, is finally complete. What you witnessed here, not a word to anyone. Um, I don't know if anyone would believe me anyway. Goodbye. Do try to stay cautious. I'd hate to see one so promising meet an end because of wayward trust in another. Okay. I may have need of someone like you in a few years, if you're still around. Cool. Um, I'll remember that. Goodbye, Therese, you crazy bitch. I'm out of here. Nope. Okay. So, that's done. Cool. I don't have to go find, um... Rikushio. Uh, I need to buy some ammo for my guns, though. So, damn it. There we go. Um, so I'm gonna go... Wait, is there even a store? To buy guns and ammo? Uh... It's a good question, me? Let's see here. I should ask Mercutio. He might know. Isn't there an alley over here? Yeah. Alright. Uh, Mercutio's house is open. Oh. Wait, can I, uh... No, I can't. Okay. Let's see here. It's over here, yeah? Yeah. Okay, now. Mercutio's got to know where I can buy some weapons. No one, you, no one's cleaned this up yet? Hey, buddy. Got some questions, friend. Specifically? Uh, no one can score some guns? Guns? A guy named Chip up the street. He keeps a few pieces under the table, but he doesn't sell to anybody. Doesn't have a license. I'll give him a call. He'll sell to you. It's the least I can do. Cool. Thanks. Goodbye. That was easy. So trip up the street. All right. So I gotta find trip. I don't know where trip is. Uh. Instant cash, buy, sell, trade. See over here? Oh, that's my apartment. That's a hooker. You're not Trip, are you? No, it's just a random woman. Oh! Trip's pawn shop. Cool. Oh. Why am I in a cage? Well, I just realized how high the ceilings are in here. Jesus. All right, trip. Thanks for coming back. What you need? Uh, I heard you got some weapons. No. Oh, damn it! Who told you that? I'm Rikushio. All right. Look, I can't have every Jesse and Jamie off the street, you know, coming in here and asking about this. It's not cool. I'm not exactly licensed, and these weapons aren't precisely legal. You catch this is like the flippinest pawn pawn store I've ever been to. No, I appreciate your business, and I'll sell to you, but don't tell anyone else, okay? Keep your nose clean. Of course. Well, all right. Come take a look, then. Um... I... Why would I want these? I... Oh, I can sell him things. Um... I just, I just want the bullets. Bullets, can I get some bullets? 
Alright. How many rounds do I have? I have 36. Yeah, that should do. I don't have a lot of money. Oh my god. Seems like the first time in a video game I've been like, I have no monies. Sifrim or be Skyrim. I'm always out of money in that game. Alright, cool. Um, oh, I blackmailed that doctor. I should have some money in my uh, um, thing. What's it called? Uh, mailbox. Money, money, money! Alright, cool. Uh, let's check to see if there's anything new. I have an email account, apparently. The only girl who will spend the night with you and leave first. Alright. So, uh, email. Well, looks like the boards are writing up. So, Let's see. Four. I haven't checked all my emails. Call her. You've okay. got the shot at dead to Uh, six. The opening. The game begins upon his move. So, we go. Great. Oh god, Vigo, you call in every night, and each night's bullshit. Alright, let's see what's on the news. And that the party responsible will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. A massive gelatinous creature that washed out on the beaches of Providence, Rhode Island, has scientists scratching their heads. Found by a jogger only on Tuesday morning who says he smelled it a mile away. The news from the creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus. The marine biologists that have examined the monster have uh, commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. Okay. That it could be from a yet undiscovered family of secrets. I got an email. In <laughs> Santa Monica tonight, we suspect the slayings were carried out during a drug deal gone bad. Residents of this quiet community were shocked by the killings, though neighbors suspected the men in the house to be involved in drug distribution and had seen many strange people go Okay, I, that newsman is confusing. Oh, shit! We've got our undivided take, take attention. Take. Nice. Right. As we all know, the Americans established a moon base back in the late 70s. Okay, um... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna save in here. And, uh, I'm gonna call that one uh, an episode. So, I'll see you guys next time. Until then, um, have a good one.